Good morning, yogis. Hi, how are you? It's a beautiful day. Um, go ahead and get your mat and your water and your block and anything else you need to practice. I actually forgot my water, so I'm going to go run and get it. So just give me one second. I'll be right back. I'm coming right back. important to stay hydrated, <clears throat> especially when you're outside. So make sure you have some water. It's pretty quiet here today. Hopefully it stays quiet and we just have some birds and some waterfalls and maybe a little bit of boat traffic. Uh, happy Sunday to you guys. Um, I'm going to start um, every morning I pick a card from my good advice <laughs> uh, pack and I read it. So this one was really good. So I'm gonna read this one to you guys today to start your day. This is how I started my day. Consult not your fears, but your hopes and your dreams. Think not about your frustrations, but about your unfulfilled potential. Concern yourself not with what you tried and failed in, but with what is still possible for you to do. So we can be frustrated, especially now, and we might have all kinds of feelings about unfulfilled potential and things we should be doing and could be doing. Um, it says consult not your fears, but your hopes and your dreams. So yogis, continue to hold on to your hopes and dreams, even sometimes when it feels like they're far off into the future. Let's do that. And um, while we're getting ready to practice, I read a few things every morning. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> read this other this other thing today, and then um, <clears throat> excuse me, and then we'll get ready to practice. Are you feeling powerless? Have circumstances taken a turn you don't like? Yes. Do you feel like there's nothing you could do to make today better? One power that's always available to you is the power to love yourself. So sometimes we do feel powerless. We have circumstances in our lives we simply cannot change. No matter what we do to create something different to move the situation along. And so right now we're in this place, literally, right? Sometimes it's we can't get another person to behave differently. We can't seem to change something at work. We can't do much about our money situation, or at least not at the moment. Maybe this was like written for us today, I don't know. Nothing in life seems to be going our way. It's not that we're doing anything wrong. We aren't off our path or neglecting a particular lesson. It's just that the energy of that particular time in our lives is frustrating. There's no action we can take to change our circumstances. Wow. All we can do is surrender to the circumstance, accept what's happening, and stay right here in the moment. And so during those times, this time, there is one action we can take that will help. We can love ourselves. When we can't do anything about the world around us, when we can't even seem to do much about ourselves, we can always, always, always love ourselves. When all other powers seem stripped away, we can practice the power of self-love. It's the one power nobody can take from us. Self-love will always make things better. And perhaps when a difficult time is past, you'll look back and say, that's what I was really learning along the way. The ever-present power healing power of learning to love myself. So you made a great choice this morning to love yourself, love your body, and to give yourself some self-care, to love yourself. So yoga is a practice that is for the mind, body, and the soul. And so 
that's what we're doing. We're practicing that. The only thing we have right now. Let's come to the top of our mat, stand in mountain pose. <sighs> Let's close our eyes or cast downward. Find some stillness. Long spine, shoulders up, back down and away. Soften your gaze, your face, the muscles of your face, your jaw. And just come to stillness. Let that sink in, that the one power that you have is self-love. And so love yourself. And so maybe this practice this morning is dedicated just to you. To your self-healing taking back some of that power. And breathe. So good just to be and breathe right here in this moment. Thoughts may come in and that's okay. You can let them come in, kind of name what they are, and then let them go like clouds in the sky, although it's pretty blue, blue skies today. So imagine that the thoughts are like clouds, they come in and then just go away staying in the present moment with your breath, and that's part of what we do in our yoga practice. We stay right here in the moment, in this moment, and then in the next moment, and moment to moment, breath to breath. So let's come to that breath, inhaling in through the nose, and either out through the mouth or the nose, creating a little sound as you drag the breath up the back of your throat, the sound of the wind, the sound of the ocean. Continue that breath again. Here on Facebook Live, I did post a playlist if you'd like to use, or you can use any one of your own or my own or Pandora or whatever works, or you can just listen to the sound of the stillness and the quiet of the birds with me. This is an all levels practice. Take what you need, add what you want, relax when you need to take a break. You hold the dial and the intensity in your practice, just like you hold the dial and the intensity in all areas of your life. Let's reach up to the sky, catch the left wrist, and bring it over to the right side. Uh, press the hips over as well. Look up. Big side body open. Feels so good. And then to the top. Reach for the other wrist. Up and over. Press away. Press the weight into your left foot as you press the right hip out. Really nice. I'm gonna come back to center. This time interlace all fingers and let them fall behind your head and fall back. Big breath. Ah, open the chest, open the heart, let the elbows open, maybe a little back bend, and then over to the right again like this. Looking up. And to center, and then to the left. And back to center again, feet together, hands heart center. Practicing gratitude. I just want you to think of the one big thing right now. Just one. We'll do more gratitude through practice today, but I want you to think of one big thing you're grateful for. And I am grateful for my strong, healthy body today that allows me to practice yoga. I'm grateful for my health and the health of my family and friends. I'm grateful for all the medical workers out there on the front lines. I'm grateful for everyone following the rules, staying inside. I'm grateful for my mom. She's always been there for me. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold to the earth. Inhale, lengthen, look out. Walk back to plank. Take the knees down. Together, we'll take our first vinyasa. Chin, chest, belly on the earth. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale back. Downward facing dog. Let your head hang heavy. Maybe paddle out your feet. Melt the chest back to the thighs. You can even come up on all 10 tiptoes. So kind of move things around a little bit while you breathe. Then look to your hands and take a walk up to the top of your mat. Nice and easy walk. Hands to shins, look out, lengthen. 
and exhale, fold again. And inhale, roll up slowly one vertebrae at a time, let your head come up last, and then inhale, reach to the sky. And right back down, fold to the earth. Inhale, lengthen. This time your vinyasa. So the same one we just did, gentle. You can skip it and just press back to down dog. You can take cat cow here instead, or you can take vinyasa or push ups. You can ramp it up or down, your choice. Breathing in and out. Look to your hands and make your way to the top of your mat however you like. You can jump or float or even just walk again. Inhale, lengthen hands to shins or earth, flat back. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, rise again. And stretch back. And forward fold again. Inhale, lengthen. Walk, step, jump, float. Lower down. Upward facing dog or cobra. And exhaling, downward facing dog or child's pose. So child's pose is a resting place. You can take it with your knees wide, or you can take it with your knees closed, or you can stay in down dog, or you can add push-ups. So again, yogi's choice on where you want to go with that. Keep breathing. I'm almost done with my ponytail. And then we walk, step, jump, or float to the top of the mat again. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, rise. Another back bend. Oh, right back down. Forward fold. Inhale, out. And exhale, vinyasa. Up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. The breath is moving, the body is opening, waking up. This is our warm up, so come up on your toes, paddle your feet, drop your hips from side to side. So really notice what's going on in the body today. And make your way to the top of your mat however you like. Lengthen. Fold and rise. Uh, little back bend. Heart center. This time we're going to do it with you guys. Do it on your own. I'm not going to talk. Okay? If you don't know what to do, just watch. But if you know what to do, let's do two more sun salutations without me talking. Five breaths. And again. Sun salutation B, Surya Namaskar B. We're going to begin and end in chair pose with a couple warrior ones. Inhale, squeeze legs together, knees together, feet together, one big leg, sit back, chair pose, Utkatasana. Really nice. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen out. Walk, step, jump, or float, or skip it. Down dog. 
up the other cobra, and then we'll meet in downward facing dog. Right leg reaches for the sky. Step it all the way through. Drop your back heel. Rise up, warrior one. Nice. Square the hips and shoulders forward. Breathe. We're going to slow this down. We normally take this with one breath associated with each movement, but we're going to slow it down a little bit. Let's reach forward. Touch the earth. Step back plank. Lower down vinyasa. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg reaches. Bring it through. Spin the back heel down. Rise up. Warrior one, shoulders and hips square, open chest and heart. Breathe, slowing it down, feeling the breath move through the body, feeling if there's any tension anywhere. Come forward, hover, touch the earth, step back. Either down dog, child's pose, or vinyasa, or add push-ups. You can always add push-ups, always add them. Downward facing dog. Five cleansing breaths, big breaths in, maybe you make an HA sound on the way out, really, really accentuating that, so big inhale, ah. again, and let it go, ah. inhale, and let it go, ah. ah, feels good to let all that out, right? Up on your toes, walk, step, or float, top of your mat, inhale, lengthen out, exhale, fold, and we inhale back to chair pose, Utkatasana. So good. All right, center. Here's crazy today. Let's do another one a little bit faster, okay? Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa, all the way to the bottom. Inhale, fill all the way up. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step it through and rise. On the inhale. Good job. Exhale, back down, vinyasa. All the way to the bottom. Inhale, fill. Exhale, press. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step through. Inhale, rise. Exhale down. Inhale up dog. Exhale child's pose or downward facing dog for five breaths to reconnect. Reconnect the breath. Empty the mind. That negative self-talk needs to go. We talked about loving ourselves. So I ask you today, yogis, I invite you today to only be kind to yourself, to say nice things to yourself, to feed yourself healthy food. You're already doing yoga, so that's amazing. Top of your mat, inhale, offer heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, Utkatasana again. <laughs> really good. Stand tall, mountain pose. Beautiful. Right knee comes to chest. Kick the foot out to me. I want to see your toes and the bottom of your heel. Lift it up a little bit higher. Maybe reach the arms up to a lot of balance right there. Really good. Breathe. Breathe. Now sweep the back. Warrior three stick pose. Put your ears between your biceps, look down, breathe. You can also have hands at heart or hands at airplane or holding onto a chair or the wall. Beautiful, breathe. Now let's bring the knee back to the chest like you're moving through water. Kick it back out to me. Lift it a little higher. <laughs> and now step down. Hands to heart center. Let's do the other side. So we're going to take the left knee up. Kick your foot out. Reach your arms up. 
They can be closed or open, lift it higher, don't lean back, that's cheating. And then sweep, warrior three. Remember, heart center, hands out, holding on, whatever you need to do. Keep the hips as square as you can. Turning the toes down, lots of energy in that standing leg and the floating leg, both. Beautiful. Breathe, bring knee to chest. Foot back to me, higher, higher, reach, breathe, and step down. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold to the earth. Inhale, lengthen, look out, and walk back plank. Together we lower down on a five count, either hover or all the way to your belly for five, four, three, Two, one, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg reaches and open. Ah, there it is. The hip click. Open and close. Make a few circles. If you wanna flip your dog right away, go ahead and flip your dog. If you don't flip your dog, don't worry about it. If you don't know how to flip your dog, I'll teach you in, the, in another little bit. We're not gonna flip it just yet. Let's bring the knee to the nose, bring the shoulders over the wrist, pull everything up, hat stretch the spine, and then step the foot all the way through. Low lunge, come on to the fingertips, like you're ready to pounce. And then gently take the back knee down and lean forward into that hip flexor, nice big stretch. So from here, you can either keep the hands on the earth or a block, or you can take the hands to your thigh, come up a little bit higher, keep leaning into the hip flexor and the back leg or you can reach your arms up to the sky, or even come back into a bigger back bend. So keep breathing through whatever you find. Breathe. We're gonna come to half split from here, okay? So we're just gonna sit back, stay high, and the hands can drop, curl the toe up, and then lean forward, feeling the back of the right leg. Breathe. Come forward again into the low lunge. You can either leave the knee down or lift the leg up. Keep the left hand down, right hand hip twist. So make some space there. Maybe roll to one or both edges of the feet. Dip the hips a little bit lower. Really nice. Come back to the low lunge where you started. We're gonna send the foot back to plank, lower down again on a five, slow count for five, four, three, two, up dog or cobra, and exhale back. Downward facing dog, left leg up, open up hip on hip. Play around with that opening of the leg, wiggle the toes, roll the ankle, make some circles. Option to flip the dog. Bring knee to nose, knee to forehead, shoulders over wrist, pull up, up, up. Step the foot all the way through. Fingertips come up like you're ready to pounce. Back knee touches the earth. You're reaching, leaning forward, so you're really not on the knee. You're kind of on the flesh above the knee. You can stay here, hands on the earth. You can take hands to the knee. Or hands up, breathe. Hip flexor, feels really nice to open that right side. Maybe let the head fall back if that feels good. Breathe. We come back for this half split and breathe. Curl the toes up. I think tonight might be pedicure night. <laughs> All these new skills we're learning, right? I'm a personal chef, I'm a manicurist, a hair colorist, a hair dresser, pedicures, they do it all. <laughs> Let's come forward, you can stay on the back knee or you can lift up that leg. The right hand stays down, left hand twists uh, from the thoracic, from the middle of the spine. Reach, and you can roll to outside edges here of the feet and you can continue to move around little bit. 
We're going to move on here. Instead of taking the vinyasa, we're going to take both hands to the right and turn to the right for wide stance fold. When you're in the wide stance fold, I want you to move from side to side a little bit, alternate leg stretches. Maybe you go upside down here. Maybe you walk your hands through the back. Maybe you take plank push-ups. Maybe you come in for full skandasana, full runner's lunge. So really making whatever feels good in your body feel good in your body. We're going to meet in a wide stance, right hand down, left hand up for a twist again. And then reach the hand to the sky. Stacking the shoulders, breathe. Beautiful. Mm, the sun feels so good. And then the other side, left hand down, right hand up, twist. Hand can stay at hip, hand can reach to sky. Your choice. And we're going to walk back to the front of your mat over that left leg lunge. Step back to plank. Lower down on a five count. Five, four, three, two, one. Up dog or cobra. And exhale back. Downward facing dog. Child's pose. Rest or come forward for five push-ups. So rest or work. One, two, three, four. Five. Child's pose or down dog or seated on your knees. This hair has to go. <laughs> okay. Come back to the breath and let's get ready to move our bodies even more than we already are. Downward facing dog. Right leg reaches for the sky. Let's step that foot all the way through. Back foot, drop foot, back, back foot drops. Come all the way up, warrior one. We've been here before. Find the breath, sink in a little deeper to the posture. Maybe take a little back bend. And take hands to heart center, left knee to chest. Just like that. Like nothing. Yep. Step it back with control, so go really slow. Really, really, really slow. Sound effects are optional, warrior one. Come up again, second time, just like that. This time, let's kick the leg out. Good job. Sweep it back, warrior one. Third time we come to tree pose. Three different hand gestures. So start at prayer and then any three you like. With a couple breaths in each. Knee back to chest. Ooh, okay. Step back, warrior one. Come forward. Hands touch. Right leg floats to the sky. Open up hip on hip. Here's where we're going to flip the dog. We look over the left side and see the right toes and wiggle them around. And then we let that foot drop and reach the right hand up to the sky. I like to straighten this left leg and pull open. You can also take a full wheel back bend here. And so we breathe in wild thing, flip dog, whatever you want to call it. We unwind this with the right leg floating where it started. Either take vinyasa on three limbs or take that foot down for down dog and take a four limb vinyasa or no vinyasa at all. When given the choice, I usually choose the power move. Left leg reaches up. Open up. Bring it all the way through. 
and step it and let the back heel drop. Rise up, warrior one. Left side. Nice. Sink in, square the shoulders. Sink into friendly lunge, hips are square. Pressing energy through the outside edge of the back foot. So this leg is really strong. We're gonna bring knee, right knee to chest. Just like that, like nothing. Just like, doesn't even you know you feel it. Step back with control. So let it go back nice and easy. With control, warrior one. Perfect. Uh, on a boat traffic today. Bring it up again, this time foot to me. You can leave the arms up or down, beautiful. Sweep it back, find warrior one. Such beautiful control yogis, looking so good. This next time we come up with the breath for tree pose, rikshasana. Heart center. Breathe. Three different arm positions. Go for it. They don't have to be the same ones you did either. The jewel of the lotus. Of this one. Show me your peace sign. <laughs> That's a mudra, right? Knee to chest, step it back, warrior one. Beautiful, bring the hands to touch the earth, left leg floats to the sky. Ah, vinyasa on three or four limbs, or skip it, you choose. We're gonna rewind it, so we're doing it the other way. Left leg floats again, we open up hip on hip. If you flip the dog, you flip the dog by dropping the left foot gently on the earth and the left hand reaches for the sky. Straighten out the right leg. And there you are. Beautiful. Unwind. Downward facing dog. Vinyasa together. Take the knees down or don't. Up dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, right leg reaches for the sky again. Option to take another three limb vinyasa or option to step through to warrior one and wait there. Ah. We'll straighten out the front leg. Hands to your hips, square them off. Come forward halfway. Step the back foot in one full footprint, keep squaring off, and then folding forward over that right leg. Take your hands to steeple mudra and take this two fingers in between the first and second toe. Head to knee pose with a variation of the arms. If that's too much for you and you're feeling wobbly, you can take your hands to either side or onto a block if you can't get that low. Again, that's your choice. Standing L or standing split, you can turn it into balance or not. So you just lean forward into the front leg and lift the back leg up. Standing L is right here, it looks like an L. Standing split is a little bit higher or all the way. You can turn it into balance by taking one or both hands behind the right leg. Maybe even you could take a bind here if you like. I really like to here, it just feels good for the quad and also my other hamstring. But you take what takes what feels right for you. We end back where we started, head to knee pose, and coming halfway up, squaring off again. Reach out with the left hand so we lengthen that side body. The right hand comes out and the left hand is forward. We're going to take this left hand down and the right hand up for a twisted triangle. You can come onto a block here. Feels good to be up super high on this one. Or you can take more by crossing the leg. Revolve triangle. 
Beautiful. The twist comes from the torso. Eye gaze up or down. You choose. Breathe. And then head to knee pose again where you started. We rise halfway and then all the way up for dancer pose. Right hand comes up, left hand comes down. We lean forward, catch the foot. Knee to knee, that's perfect. Or keep the hip closed and reach for dancer pose, beautiful. Don't let this hand drop too low because you'll fall and keep kicking the back leg up. Keep breathing, breathing, breathing. Hearts racing. Slow it down with the breath. We float back to warrior one. That's where we came from. If you remember, it was a while ago. Here we go. Ah, there it is. Reach forward, hover. Step back, right leg flies. Three limb vinyasa or four limb vinyasa you choose. You can also catch a chin stand there. Let's sit on our knees or take a break in child's pose or maybe you're upside down in headstand. Whatever you need right now, go ahead and take before we do the other side. Settle back down. So my heart is, is moving a lot. <laughs> my breath is moving. So let's just take a moment to slow that down. You can have a drink now. You need some water, you can wipe down or you can just find some space for yourself. You could take a twist, let's all take a twist. Take the left hand on the right knee and sit up and look over that shoulder. Nice. Mm. Reach up, maybe stretch back a little bit and then the other side. Really good. Back to center again. And downward facing dog like the mat. Lift the hips. Ah. Left leg reaches for the sky. Come into three limb vinyasa or meet me in warrior one. Rise. Straighten the front leg. Come halfway down, all the way down. The fingers can go in between the first and second toe again. You can step that back foot up and in and bring it in closer. If you don't like that hand gesture, do something else. Try to score the hips so the left hip is trying to go forward. Pull it back a little bit. Bring the chin to the chest, chest to the thigh. Beautiful. Parsvo Tanasana, head to knee pose. Intense side stretch. It's got many names. Pyramid pose. From here, we're going to come to standing split or standing L. Just lean forward and lift up. Or take more or whatever you like here. Take. Ah, breathe. Woo! It's windy. We step back to head to knee pose. Come halfway up and all the way up. Right arm reaches up, black back reaches out, left hand reaches to the side. This right hand comes down to touch inside a block on top of the foot or off to the side and then we twist left hand to sky, revolve triangle, part reach to trikonasana. Keep reaching up and pressing away, stacking the shoulders, the back heel is touching, so if it's moving up, step it closer together. Press into the four corners of both feet. So feel all the toes, feel the heels, feel the edges of both feet as you twist, squeeze the thighs together. Really nice, beautiful. Back to head to knee pose, release it down. Come halfway up, come all the way up, 
Left arm reaches for the sky. Right hand reaches down below, and we reach, knee to knee. Find balance, knee to knee. This is enough right here. This is a quad stretch. If you don't catch the foot, energetically catch the foot. And then if you like, reach forward, dancer pose. Keep kicking up and back, lifting up out of the chest. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You got this. Looking good. And now we're gonna slide back to warrior one, nice and easy, nice and controlled. Beautiful. We light the mat up. Left leg floats. Three-legged dog. Vinyasa on three or four limbs or no vinyasa at all. Up dog or cobra and exhale back. Downward facing dog, take a rest or take some push-ups. And let's meet on our knees. Sometimes I roll my mat up here for this back bend because it hurts my knees to be smashed into the floor. So let's come on up for this back bend, Ustrasana, camel pose. The knees are hip distance apart. You can tuck the toes in the back so that you, I'll show you, that your foot is like this or not, you can choose. We're just gonna kind of move around doing half camel poses and then we'll maybe get into a full one. So turn around and touch your right hand to the back of your right foot if you can and reach the left hand up. Sweep it to the right, around in a big circle, catch the left foot and reach the right hand up. And now back down and around. Beautiful. If you can't get it, just kind of fake it. Fake it till you make it, right? Uh, so these half camel poses feel really good. And you can just linger in each one of those for a little bit longer, pressing the hips forward. Eventually, if you'd like, you can take full Ustrasana camel pose, both hands on both feet. You can take more if you can reach back even further. There's a couple different options there. I'm not going to teach them, but if you have them, go for it. I'm going to turn to the side for this one so you can see what it looks like. So full camel pose. Oh. You don't have to tuck the head, I mean, you don't have to let the head fall back. You just want to keep pressing the hips forward. Beautiful. And breathing. We're going to come out of this, pat out our feet, and also a little cat cow. So go ahead and do that. Cat cow. Pat out our feet. And then unroll your mat. And back to downward facing dog. Take vinyasa to clean the slate, so let's come forward, lower, up dog, down dog. Beautiful. Right leg reaches. Warrior two, step it through, cartwheel open, find strength and power in the posture. Back foot is pressing, front knee is bent, everything's open, arms are reaching. Look over your front hand. Pumping warrior three times. Inhale up and exhale. Now you can cheat <laughs> in anything in life, right? I tell my students this all the time. Only you know you're a cheater until you get caught. So I can't catch you cheating in this warrior too, but you know how much or how little you're giving in to the practice today. Side angle pose, elbow to knee or hand to earth or block. You can also take a bind, half or full. You can also come up for Bird of Paradise or Nia Lamba. I am not going to do that today. I am going to take a side angle. But if you have that in your practice, please take it. Beautiful. We're going to come right to Exalted Warrior from here. So we're just going to pass through Warrior 2, stay really low in the front leg, and reach back. Nice. So the eight limbs of yoga, one of them is not stealing, not lying, honoring your body. Breathing, meditation, concentration, 
asana practice, our physical practice. Let's come forward again, warrior two. And now we'll take half moon or a second side angle. So second side angle to your half moon, we just tip it over and reach. Beautiful. Lift the back leg up, open up so the shoulders are stacked and the hips are stacked. Beautiful, very nice. Option to reach and bind, but you don't have to. You don't have to do any of it. We're gonna float back to warrior two, but not yet. I'm just letting you know where to go. And when you're ready, you float. Warrior two, so nice. Pump warrior three more times. Just feels good to notice the difference between the effort and the ease and the posture. It helps you really appreciate the balance in your life. Cartwheel the hands down. Send the right leg back to the sky. Three or four limb vinyasa or no vinyasa at all. Up dog or cobra, exhale back. Downward facing dog, left leg reaches to the sky. Steps through warrior two. Get right in that front leg. Get in it, Robin. Pumping warrior three times. Inhale, one. Two. Three. Side angle pose. Yogi's choice on this. Open up the chest and heart though. So let that top shoulder really spin open so you feel the chest kind of shine towards the sky. Beautiful. Breathe. Maybe bind, half bind or fall. Nilamba or Bird of Paradise. Coming through Exalted Warrior. Mark Warrior Two. stay low in the knee. And then exalt. pumping warriors again. One, two, three, second side angle or half moon. I forgot to do this. Second side angle or a half moon on the side. Reach, breathe. Any variation you have, take. Breathe. Floating back, warrior two, when you're ready, slow and controlled. Nice. Cartwheel the hands down. Send the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Option to vinyasa on three or four limbs. You can take it down or skip it. You're gonna meet me in child's pose or seated on your knees. Taking a break. It's optional playtime now, so if you're working on like any sort of a balance or crow or side crow or ekapada kundinyasana or any kind of headstand, forearm stand, or any other thing you're working on, it's yogi playtime, so go ahead and let that happen. If it's not happening for you and you don't want to do any of that, we're going to sit in bound angle, seated, feet together, knees apart, or seated forward fold. So those are your options right now. Go for it. I'll be right back. So whatever you found, continue to do that. We're going to meet up in the seated bound angle for a hip opener and a forward fold over those legs. If this doesn't feel good for any reason in your knees, then don't do it. Bring the knees in together for a big hug. Oh, feels so good. 
Hug your chin to your chest and hug in. Try to touch your forehead on your knees. We're almost there, yogis. Almost finished with practice. The last five minutes is pure magic, right? That's when we get to lay down and really just kind of let it all sink in. The next five minutes is not going to be pure magic, but it's important stuff. <laughs> so let's come to boat pose. Hold on if you need to. You don't have to hold on if you don't want to hold on. And, and then lift the legs up. Lift the arms up if you can. Squeeze everything into the center. We're gonna do some Russian twists here. So you can either keep the knees bent, keep them on the floor, or you can do full on the whole body. So let's bring one, two, three, four. Remember, you can do this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hug it in. Ah, that was good. That was good. Go ahead and keep your feet on the floor. Go ahead and lay back. We already did one back bend bridge pose, but go ahead and let's take a second back bend, either full wheel. I'm sorry, we did camel pose. So either take full wheel or bridge or both. Breathe. Wherever you are. And then when you drop down, take your knees apart, feet together, bound angle reclining, Supta Baddha Konasana. And then we're gonna take another 20 or 25 crunches. You guys count for yourself and don't cheat getting the shoulder blades up off the earth, squeezing and crunching into the belly. You count yourself. That's 10 for me. And that's 20, relax, bound angle. <sighs> Shake your head gently, no getting any last little bit of tension out of the head and neck. And let's cross the right leg over the left and maybe eagle wrap the legs. A little bit more crunches, let's bring it up. You could do eagle arms here too, or hands behind the head and crunch in for 10. And then twist, take those legs to the left as you look to the right. Ah, oh, that feels so good. Nice big spinal twist. If the eagle wrap doesn't work, that's okay. Do something else, just twist with the legs just next to each other. We'll come back to center, happy baby or straddle. With the breath, we cross the left over right, eagle wrap or almost eagle wrap. Arms can be an eagle or behind your head. Another quick little 10 with the lower abs pulling in. And let the legs fall to the right. As you look to the left, ah. Uh, Beautiful. Finishing postures are fish pose, plow pose, shoulder stand, another back bend, or be done in Shavasana. You can do this seated or reclined, your choice. That was my ankle, everything was cracking this morning. Sitting in full or half lotus. I'm crazy here today.
So go ahead and find yourself in a comfortable position, whether it's reclining or whether you're seated. Yogi's choice on that. Come to your breath. Notice the quality of your breath. Notice the fullness of your breath. Notice where it is. As the body stops moving, sometimes the mind gets going. And so I just invite you to take the next five minutes of our practice here together for yourself. The self-care I talked about in the beginning of our practice. You just took a whole hour for yourself. Even if you didn't move through all the postures, but you just sat and breathed, that's enough for you for today. I encourage you and invite you to try every day to move your body, whether it's this yoga class or a walk or a bike ride or a run or some jump roping or some dancing or some playing, whatever it might be. Move your body and come to your breath. So right now let's just get in stillness and quiet of the breath. Noticing all the tension melting off your face, letting your jaw separate so the teeth aren't touching, letting your tongue hang gently in your mouth. Eyelids are softly over your eyes or you're in a soft gaze, allowing all the muscles of your body to surrender now to the earth. Whether you're seated or reclined, allow all the tension in your body to be melting off with each exhale. And just notice the breath coming into your body, filling your lungs, letting your belly expand, and then letting it contract. All the air comes out and we start the process again, ever so slowly and effortlessly. Noticing the breath. Continue to settle into the space. When we move our bodies in our yoga practice, we shake things up. All kinds of trauma gets stored in our body. And yogis, we're all in a very huge global trauma right now. Whether you're realizing it or not, it's manifesting in your body and your, your soul. So take good care of yourself. Try to stay positive. Try to be kind to yourself and everyone else. Continuing with those long, slow breaths. Continuing to allow it to melt away. Yogis, you can stay in Shavasana as long as you'd like. You don't have to end when I do. So stay quiet for like five or 10 more minutes. I'm gonna read just one more little passage getting all my reading done together with you this morning. If you think about it, although we may not be destined to die five minutes from now, we are all, without an exception, going to die at some point. We can count on this 100%. There is nothing surer than this. Victor Hugo says, we are all under sentence of death, but with a sort of indefinite reprieve. Ideally, we should live every minute of our lives valuably, as if it were the last moment of our lives. Those who live aimlessly are left with a sense of emptiness at the end of their lives. But those who live all out, striving right to the end, will die peacefully. Leonardo da Vinci says, as a well-spent day brings happy sleep, so life well used brings happy death. So we need to live each day to its fullest. Each moment in the journey is precious. So this great pause that we're experiencing right now, this huge reset, take this time to take care of yourself. Figure out what it is that makes your heart sing. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide your practice this morning. The light inside of me honors the light inside of you. 
we all dwell as one in that place in the universe where there's peace, where there's love, where there's hope, where there's light, and where there's health in abundance. Until our paths cross again, yogis. Namaste. Have a beautiful day.